All right. Um, Coach was talking about it both before the game and after, about how as you're kind of getting back to better health, you're kind of on the rise and getting back to where you were before you hyperextended that knee. Um, tonight you scored all those points. You took advantage of a pretty good matchup, and you cut down on the turnovers. Can you just talk about where you kind of feel you're at right now? Um, I feel good, you know. Um, it's important for me to come out and be aggressive, um, no matter how I'm feeling. Um, I think when I do that, the team um, gets off to a better start. Um, you can't play five on five basketball. Um, when the point guard comes off and uh, not being aggressive, it doesn't get us a good position. So my job is just to be aggressive, try to get um, some buckets in the beginning of the game and get us into the fall. Uh, Go ahead, Frank. <laughs> Did you guys kind of feel almost a little bit like deja vu again as in that fourth quarter uh, where you're, you're up by such a big lead and then all of a sudden it just starts getting chipped away and suddenly you're back in a battle? Yeah, um, we have to be better um, in, like, in situations like that. When we get up on a team, um, we can't just continue to let them back in the game. Um, fortunately, you know, we, we held our composure enough at the end of the game to get the win. But when you're up by however many points we're up, you want to really just kind of close the game out and – uh, we still have to get better at that. Go ahead, Jack. Hey, Mo, for you guys to to give up 26 points off turnovers and, and 19 second chance points, but but still come out with a win and and, and do so for the, for the better part of the game rather emphatically, just what do, what do you think that says about your group and the way that you know, you're able to stick together despite, you know, in some cases creating some adversity for yourselves? I mean, you say it like that, I don't even want to <laughs> answer the question, though. I don't know. We just have to be smarter. Um, but the fact that we can give up that many um, turnovers and, and have bad possessions like that and still win the game just means that we're a resilient team. Um, we have a lot of players that can score in a lot of different ways. So for us, it's about really getting stops on defense and that fuels our offense. And then for you personally, I thought you did a good job of, of controlling the pace despite it kind of getting, you know, kind of crazy at times. Just how, how difficult does it become to you know, to have control over the offense in the half court when when defense gets really aggressive, there's there's loose balls that are flying around that you're chasing down and stuff like that. Excuse me. Yeah, you just have to keep your composure um, as a point guard. It's something that you have to get used to. We know that LA was going to come out and be really aggressive anyway. So our post players did a good job of allowing me to pitch the ball out to them and setting good screens to get me open. Thanks. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Any more questions for Mariah? Nope, so. I had one. I had one Mo. Uh, I mean, you 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 played with Sale for the better part of a season now, um, so you had a chance to see up close what she can do tonight in her last game in LA. Almost perfect offensively. I mean, can you just is there anything left to say about what she means to this team? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear the beginning of the question. Oh, just asking about Sill. You know, oh. you played with her. You know, for much of the season tonight, she makes her first eight shots. Eight for nine. I mean, is it does it ever just amaze you what somebody at her age and on the way out is still playing at such a high level? I mean, it feels amazing every single day, every single game. Um, my entire career, I always wanted to get a chance to play with her. And so now um, getting to do that in her last year and seeing how well she continues to perform every single day, um, not just on the court, but off the court, she's a leader. Um, she's really helped me a lot with my game, too. So I'm just happy to be able to get a chance to play with her. Uh, she's an amazing an amazing person and I love you still. <laughs> Any more questions? Just one quick question. I mean yep. you shot the ball so well in the first half. What was what was the secret to that success there? Uh just being aggressive. You know, when I come off of pick and rolls, it's, it's my job to try to get downhill, get to my sweet spot, which is the mid-range pull up. Um our post players do a good job of setting good screens to get me open and I have to be more aggressive in the beginning of the game that allows um, everything else to open up on the floor for my teammates.